Hello and welcome to another Tournament in Review. This weekend, we're going to go to an eight-person team event in Montreal. The stud or scrub team, eight people going to play Warhammer 40,000 at a high level. Take a look at the list. Let's go over the missions. Let's go over the games that were played so you can learn something. Let's dive in. The Dark Team. If this is the first time you've come to one of these, I will break down my army list and my thought process. We'll go to the event, we'll play five rounds of Warhammer 40,000, then we'll come back and I'll break down what I learned, how I developed my list moving forward, etc. So let's dive into the army and what I think. Now I'm super excited about this army. This army is one of the best iterations of my army that I've done so far, and I've had lots of success with it. Let's just say I've been developing this army for about six months. Slowly but surely, you watch me here on the channel. Just kind of build it up from scratch. So what is in it? And with a data slate looming, right? What do I think might change? And here we have 2,000 points of Drukari. This list basically grabs good stuff, copy pastes it, and I make use of it on the table. We have Uri and Rancarth, who just happens to be the warlord. Then we have two beast packs, which are absolutely incredible. I really highly recommend beast packs. One of them has the Art of Pain enhancement. The list, the full list, of course, will be in the link down below. You can click on it, read it, copy it, whatever. Use it as inspiration. Three units of Mandrakes. They're very good for scoring points. Three units of five Scourge, each unit with four Dark Lances. They don't come with four Dark Lances in the kit. You sort of have to, like I've been collecting for so long, I had tons of Dark Lances in my bits box, and I was able to equip them all with Dark Lances at the start of the edition. Three units of 10 Cavalite Warriors. They're just very good. They get split by the Venoms into six units of five. And then we have three units of two Talos. They have Haywire, Twinling Liquefy Guns, and Talos Gauntlets. There you have it. It is an army that splits up into lots of little units, has good range, board presence and control, pain token regeneration with like the Kronos, uh, mission play with the Mandrakes, and the Cabalite Warriors, and of course, high pressure units and board control, as well as damage dealing too. So all in all, it's a fantastic list that I've had good success with. So with eight people in a team, you have the opportunity to take the best lists. So you can take like World Eaters, you can take like Eldar, you can take like Botan. But then towards the end, after you've taken five or six lists, you have like two or three lists that can be completely wacky. As a, spec a faction specialist, a faction expert on Drukhari, Taking Drukhari is very useful in so like a team event. Why? Because you can move over and not play the things that really like harm you or do a lot of damage to you. So you can like identify those problem matchups and then get paired into ones that are a little easier for you. So let's go to the event, let's play the rounds, and we'll come back and break down my list. And here we are getting ready for round number one of the events. Everybody's having a good time. Whee! Team event, eight player teams, really exciting. Haven't done one of these in a while, I'm really looking forward to it. There's Dustin, he's just checking out his stuff. There's Dickie. And here we are at the end of round, or start of round number one. I get to play against Tau. We're playing Hidden Supplies and Purge, which is kill, kill more, hold, hold more on Hidden Supplies with lots of objectives. So it's going to get really interesting. Um, so yeah, wish us luck. We're all getting ready to rock and roll. Yeah, we've got a couple of mirror matches. Really fun. I love WTC tables. I'm really looking forward to seeing how this does. It's the last time we're going to play with this or, you know, who knows? The data slate's supposed to be coming out like this week. So hopefully, hopefully we see some cool stuff. Uh, that is the end of round number one, 17 3. Uh, if you're using WTC scoring, into the Tau. Uh, kill, kill more. I was able to kill all the Tau. This army does a lot more damage than it looks like on the tin. Um, and my Talos did great early game, then they got murdered by Crisis Suits. But then the Scourge kind of picked up slack after. Awesome. So, with that, it seems like the team's doing relatively well. So, there's Josh. Hey! <laughs> we got some pairings and stuff there. Very fun stuff. And uh, yeah, let's go on to round number two. Food time though. Food time first. Ah, oh, it's so nice to be playing again. I love it. Round number two. I'm playing against orcs. That's right. And uh, lots of uh, three big boys and 
the flash gets. I went first, and it's the disappearing objective mission. That instantly makes this mission harder for me. Uh, this one's the one that stays. This one's the first one to go away. That's the second one to go away. So this is going to be an absolute mess, and it's going to be fantastic. I got a good uh, couple of shooting, kind of did some squeak stuff. I'm doing tactical objectives. Good run. He's just running up. Hasn't warred yet, but there's very likely to war next turn. So let's see what happens as the game goes on. And that's the end of the game. Man, what a crazy game. With the orcs going second, they were able to get 15 points at the end. Kept it really close. 11 points to the Drakari to 10 points to the orcs. With Uri Rakov being a boss, my Dark Lance is killing lots of the squigs. Hammer and Anvil really helped in this mission. And it allowed me, when I went first, I was able to put my beast packs across the line. It stopped the squigs from getting really close and too aggressive, which then gave me some wiggle room into the middle of the board. Other than that, great game. Awesome opponent. Let's move on to round number three. Ended up playing into Orcs again. It's about turn three so far. I got really lucky by killing Mazrog like early on in the game. So in the middle of the game, so we'll come back. But all in all, I, it's just an interesting mission with all, no objective in the middle, and these knobs are really fast. I like them. They're fun. And that is game. So I did end up winning that game. It was a 13-7. I did go first, which really helped to get into orcs. Apparently, going first into orcs is not bad because it stops them from running at you, and you can put beast monsters in front of their army and just slow them down. Other than that, um, we're going into the last two rounds tomorrow. We won our pod, so we get to play Blunt Force Trauma, which is like Chris Haynes and Jeremy and Francois and Tim and just Devin and a whole bunch of like Team Canada folks. It's going to be really exciting. Uh, anyway, so we'll see who we play tomorrow. And we're going to go to the Tepanyaki today. So delicious food. What a great game just we just had. I played Tim, Team Canada Tim, and he's playing Eldar. We 10 10 I was on the losing side of the 10 10 94 to 92 on uh, the double avatar. Literally, yes, Fugan left and a one wounded and a two wounded night spinner. Everything else is dead. What a great game that was. Okay, awesome. So that's uh, 10 10 into Blunt Force Trauma, which is probably our toughest match of the weekend, which is really, really good. So, very awesome. Let's go. Have fun. Last round. Let's go. Well, we are on the last round, round number five. I get to play against Chaos. So this is the chosen triple lord. We did random pairings for the last round because now, you know, it's for funsies. And uh, I ended up playing on this table, which is pretty much the same table I played last round against Tim. We did lose last round by like five or six points for the battle round. So it was a very tight round against uh, against the uh, Blunt Force Trauma. But which be like, I went first, I kind of moved up tag things with beast packs that's why they're so good they just clog up the plan <laughs> and it forces the enemy to try and do stuff as well so with that let's uh, see how it goes wish me luck and that's the end of the round so we ended up running out of time so we basically just kind of called it a gentleman's agreement at the end because it didn't really affect the round at all we played into cruising for a boozing which was really fun played into chaos it was a 12-8 for the Drukari. It wouldn't have really changed over the course of the games. I pinned him in this part of the board, and I had the rest of the table. Maybe an extra point, here or there. But it's been a long weekend. It's not going to change the outcome. And it was, you know, it, it was about the same. And we wanted to pack up, and it's a six-hour drive home. Okay, so with that... <laughs> Uh, let's go to the studio and let's break down the list and I'll tell you what I thought. Okay, awesome. That was a really fun weekend. And we're back at the studio. I hope you enjoyed watching me play. Wow, I had fantastic games. Five great games, five great opponents, and we won second place. That's right. Yeah, Blunt Force Trauma did end up beating us. Uh, it was a very tight round, 93 uh, points they won by. You need like 87 battle points in a 20-0 system. And oh, I thought we could have got them, but they got us. They eked out that win, so well played by them. So we didn't come in second. It was a great time. Congratulations to seeing everybody there. It was fantastic. So what did I learn? Let's go through the list and give you some pointers. Uh, things I liked, things I didn't like, things are staying. Well, beast packs are an absolute money send. I would take them every single time. Then we have my mandrakes. They will never leave my list. Scourge, I don't think they're just great. If anything, if you don't have the Talos, I would highly recommend you switch one of the units of Scourge to Haywire. Because Haywire in the current meta, killing tanks, is incredibly powerful. Then we have the three units of Cowboys with Venoms. I would probably start every single Drukhari list with this. 
Uh, having lots of little units that can score points, move around, do damage, like a little, we call them Scary boats colloquially, but when you put all of the guns, Dark Lance, Blaster, Shredder, uh, Captain, Splinter Cannon, or Sergeant in a Venom, that's a Scary boat. It is a crazy, killy little boat of death that can just wipe out entire units by itself. It's very, very good. The Kronos is also really good, and Urien Rackarth is surprisingly durable, although this weekend, he didn't come back in two separate games out of three. I would mean out of five. That was very sad. I rolled a one twice. Anyway, I this list is just fine-tuned. I would not change a single thing about this list. And if you can build and play this list, do it. It's really fun. And I can only imagine what will happen with the data slate. So now as we are waiting for this data slate to show up, Hopefully, we see some love as Drukari. So let me know in the comment down below what it is you'd like to see. Do you think we're going to get point changes? Do you think we're going to get some like rule changes as like Botan or Death Guard did when they were at the bottom of the meta? You know, even though statistically we're like the worst army in the game, I don't feel it. I feel very comfortable and I have a lot of fun playing this army. I know it's not easy to play, but I find it very rewarding. So please let me know what you think. In a comment down below like the video if you like the video and subscribe to the channel to support me and there you have it tournament in review well now to wait to patiently patiently wait but from the shadows we shall rise and we shall go raiding thanks for watching everybody huge shout out to the channel patreons without whom none of this is possible so thank you so much by the way if you like this mat there's a link in the description. It's got this, like everything. It's really cool. It's an official Wayland yutani mat from the World Team Championship. So make sure to check those out. You get a cool discount code. And thank you, patrons. You're all amazing. Ah, the Dark King. Bye, everybody.